What's going on trainers? Ace Trainer Troy coming at you here with the second episode of the 6v6 Spectacular. I am going to be battling my friend Brendan here. He got a hold of me on uh, Skype again. And uh, he was uh, just like, yo, battle. I'm like, hey, bro. Got it. Okay. So, his here's his team. Let's bring up my team. Okay, so, uh, that's not his team. That's, that's his team still. Well, if you want to check out my team, let me just try to add that. I don't know if I have time. Oh, shoot. Okay. No, nope, that's still his team. Man, I am... Really bad on figuring out exploit here. Either way, I'm just going to save the team I'm bringing. A little different from last time. Bring in Heatran, Amoongus, Mega Mawile, Mamoswine, Garchomp, and Ambipom. You'll see those Pokemon as I uh, bring them. But uh, here's his team. He's bringing Aegislash, Snorlax, uh, Chevalier, uh, Cav whatever. I, I, I know that, that Pokemon. Again, I didn't play Gen 5. I don't know most of Gen 5 Pokemon. I know the good ones. That one's probably good, but I haven't really got a good see. It's a Ferrothorn, Blissey, and Gyarados. So his team is pretty tanky. Moderately overall, just tanky as hell. So I want to open up with Mamoswine. I think uh, getting the Stealth Rock started, that's going to be fine. I have nothing for that uh, Aegislash except for Heatran. That's about it. Amoongus has Spore, so it can put anyone to sleep. Garchomp's just going to be there, so we might have some problems here. I want to check the moves on Mawile. No, I am not bringing Swords Dance, which is unfortunate. I should have brought it. Uh, sucks for me. Either way, let's see what he goes into. I want to say good luck. Let's try to have fun. It's kind of hard to have fun in this game sometimes. Okay, so let me just do the talk to this, get this started. So there's my Mammoth Wine. A little shiny, I know. It does look like someone puked all over, but hey. You know. Okay, so he opens up with Gyarados. That's cool. Okay, so. I should still Stealth Rock. It can't really do a whole lot to me. If it. If it, uh. It, it doesn't have anything for me. It can waterfall, it can mega evolve. It's probably a mega, really, I think so. Okay, so I go stealth rock. Uh I I I wanna uh So yeah, waterfall. I wanna uh icicle crash this thing. Damn, that did a whole lot. Shoot. Okay, so Well, Mamoswine did his job by stealth rocking. Oh, wait, where are my bumping tunes? I am so sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, I'm in the mood. Okay. So, I want to ice shard it. He's probably going to kill it. Where are, my, where are my tunes? Okay, wait, no, there we go. Okay, I got to figure out how to use 3DS Capture and XSplit because, you yeah, know, I'm so new to this. I just started using all the stuff. I'm kind of teaching myself as I go. Enough about that. Okay, so... I'm going to Ice Shard this thing, get some decent damage on it, break some doubts out, because there's nothing Mamoswine can really do at this point. But I am faster. So maybe I should Icicle Crash. Just to get that extra damage off, because I don't really need Ice Shard, because I know I'm faster. So I'm going to Icicle Crash. Get whatever little damage that I can as possible. And then bring in my next Pokemon Kill it, because I got Stealth Rock already out, so that helps. Oh, it flinched! Oh my god! Thank you! Base God, or Pokey God. I, 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 base God is the first thing I always say, because I don't know, I'm weird like that. Don't hate me. Okay, so now he finally Mega Evolves. I guess he was waiting, so now that's a problem. I can take that out, I guess. So he's going to Mold Break me, I don't know what that does. I'm still going to Ice Wheel Crash, and hey, who knows, I might be able to flinch again. If I do, I, I don't even know anymore, I just don't know. So that does less damage. Oh, okay, so he didn't flinch. I thought he did. That would have been crazy if he did. So there's the waterfall. Easily gonna kill me. Now I gotta bring in something to kill this thing. What do I got? I don't know. So, oh, well, sorry, man. Uh, sorry, guys. Still a bit tired here. You know what I could do? That would be a bad move. Mawile. Mawile has nothing... Gosh, I have nothing for this Gyarados. I'm probably actually I'm gonna bring in a Moongus. 
Oh, I forgot to give it Toxic. This thing has my double set. It has Rage Powder for only doubles. I'm going to actually Spore, then Giga Drain, and then just Giga Drain it to death. But I wish I had Toxic. It has Sludge Bomb, so I think that's a possibility to just poison them. But I really wanted to do that, but I'm just going to Spore, put it to sleep. Don't worry, bro. It if you, uh, w you're watching this, I don't do this. I, I don't follow sleep claws. So I'm not going to put your whole team to sleep. Only one at a time. But, uh, the other clauses I think are stupid. I really don't really, uh, not going to hate on Smogon. I'm not even going to start to hate on Smogon. So, that's the last time you'll ever hear me mention Smogon ever. So, moving on. I'm going to Giga Drain. It might do a decent amount. I'm going to get my decent amount back. I still have Black Sludge, so, you know, I'm just going to keep going at that. So, he didn't switch out. Uh, I, I would have, maybe. Depends, because now I'm just going to kill this thing. And I almost get rid of it, which is great, because I get more health back. And I'm actually going to Giga Drain again to get more health back, and then I'll be at full, and then it would be great on my part. So, Giga Drain again. He might switch out this time, knowing my moves. Oh, he woke up. Oh, that's a different story. They have one turn sleep. That's not that's not cool. And it pretty much almost takes me out. That's even better. Well, I do Giga Drain it again. It kills it. I'm going to get up to about... No, not even above half. And even with the Black Sludge, I'm not even going to get above half. Well, that's unfortunate. So, I'm below half here with an Amoongus. I'm going to try to put his next Pokemon to sleep again. And Giga Drain it because I need to start getting my health back here. But I'm not even going to do a lot of health or damage with the Giga Drain. This is why I wish I had Toxic. I could Toxic Spore or Spore Toxic Giga Drain. That thing's any Pokemon's done for. Wait, can can Amoongus learn Will O Wisp? I wish it could. Okay, so the Stealth Rock helps out. So that's S S Cavalier. Okay, it's a cool Pokemon name. I can get behind that. I don't even know what moves this thing handles. <laughs> it's a physical attacker. Let me, I'm actually pulling this thing up online. I want to, like, okay, so what, it's a bug steal. That's cool. I like the typing there. I have, I, I have, uh, I have an answer for it, but right at this moment, I don't. It's probably not carrying, it's probably carrying a few bug moves. Uh, yawned again, sorry. Uh. I want to just put it to sleep again. Let me just do that. I'm just going to spore. Oh, I'm faster. That is very good on my part. So, Sludge Bomb wouldn't do anything. So, I'm just going to... I'm actually going to switch out. Now it's asleep. I'm going to switch out into Mawile. Mega Evolve. I want Intimidated. Mega Evolve. And then I'm going to... Okay, so it has Leftovers. It might be going a Tanky set. But I'm going to switch out. Hopefully it stays... Asleep for more than one turn. I'm going to go into Mawile. I wanted to save it, but I think this is good because I'm going to intimidate it. Lower its attack just to be safe. He doesn't really have anything for Mawile, most likely. And then I have Fire Punch for it. So Fire Punch is really going to kill this thing. And he might even switch out. Or he might not even expect me to have Fire Punch. But I do have Fire Punch. Because I see a lot of Steel types. I even see that Aegislash, so as good on me that I did bring... Fire Punch. So, I'm going to Mega Evolve. Not going to worry about Sucker Punching. Just going to Fire Fang. Actually, no. Fire Fang. It has Fire Fang, not Fire Punch. Close enough. I know they're two separate moves, but still. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still fighting off that cold. I, I think uh, I'm sounding a little better. I'm like, okay right now. But I'm a little better after I one-shot this as Cavalier. Now I got Mawile, that's doing pretty good. Uh, it's Mega Evolved, and um, whatever he brings out, I have some coverage for it. And we're going to get the Mind Games going with the Sucker Punch. It doesn't have Sword Stance, which just totally sucks for me, because I really wish I thought about bringing Sword Stance. For a while, I was like, you know, I don't really need Sword Stance. I'm just going to go at it without it. So it, he brings out Sorlax next, so it's Stealth Rock doing its job. By do it, taking off a little bit. I actually have knockoff on uh, this small while, and then I'm just gonna like play rough, play rough, and then I wanna knock off whatever item it has. It might be a resto chesto, like my brother, which would be crazy insane. That does a good amount. 
So yeah, it was a resto chesto. And so now it's going to... Uh, hold on, let me answer back uh, my brother here. By the way, Matt, shout out to Verlus. Always want to give him a shout out, even though he is my uh, brother. I always got to say hi to him. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I will do this later. Okay, there we go. Now back to this battle. Apologize there. So I knocked off its resto chesto. I can play rough in hell. I might be able to kill this thing. He can't rest, because then I'll just screw him over hard. Knockoff did a good amount of damage. I doubt he's going to attack me, so I'm not even going to sucker punch. So I'm going to play rough. I know I'm faster. So if I kill this thing, that'd be great. And I do kill this thing, and that was great. Awesome. So, will Mawile be acing this guy? Will he? That is a very good question. Also, I've got to throw in the hashtag, as always, get aced. I'm going to trademark... That hashtag, I just love that. It does fit where, where I'm uh, with my name and all that. So he brings in Ferrothorn. It might be able to leech seed. It actually might be the spinner to get rid of those stealth rocks, which if it's like that, that might be a little too late. I still have the Fire Fang on my wall, and I'm still faster, which is great. I might be able to kill this thing, and I do. Wow, this Mawal is going to town on his whole team. He does have the Rocky Helmet, and he has... The Iron Barbs didn't matter. He did a little damage and I killed it. Which is great. So, what's his next Pokemon going to be? Batter up because this Mawal's hitting home runs all day long. Wait, did I get that wrong? Maybe maybe he's striking people out because if it's a batter up, it should strike him out. Okay, so Aegislash comes out. I'm actually really happy now that I didn't bring in the Swords Dance and I have the Knockout Fire Fang instead of, like, what's the normal one? Iron Head and, uh... Swords Dance instead of Fire Fang Knockoff because I really like obviously as you can see I said obviously wrong as you can see Fire Fang goes to town on uh, on his whole team which I got lucky there and Knockoff screwed up his Sorlax so good so he's gonna King Shield oh, I should have saw that one coming either way I'm all attacks uh, I'm all attacks right now so he's gonna he's not gonna do it again. I don't care if my attack sword, I'm still gonna fire fang this dude. And let's see, he can't really kill me. So he's gonna sword dance. This is gonna be start to be a problem. Uh hopefully his fire fang can uh do its job. Uh that's gonna be a three hit KO. Damn. I wanna keep the fire fang in because there's nothing I can really do. But he might be getting good setups right now. Okay, so now I gotta really start thinking. Because as my brother would say, the mechanics with Aegislash are just too real. If you can predict your opponent like that, it's all good. Okay, now uh, he's probably going to Swords Dance again. And, okay, now I'm, I'm, in, a, uh, I'm, I'm in a hard place right now. Okay. He's only got two Pokemon left, but that Asia Slash can totally sweep my whole team right now. And the rest of my team might not be able to do so much. He's going to Sword Dance again. And then he's going to start sweeping me up with attacks. So, I'm going to bring in a Moongus. I'm going to put it to sleep and then switch it out into Heatran and hopefully kill it. That is the best in, as far ahead as I can think of. So yeah, it Sword Dances. In my King Shield again, I doubt it. I actually think it's going to Shadow Sneak me and kill me because it does have the four things, but I'm going to Spore anyway. So yeah, it's gonna, I think it's going to switch into uh, Blade Form. I doubt if he's really greedy, he will do that extra King Shield Sword Dance, which I doubt he will do. I should have saw all this coming. I really should have. Amoongus might be able to take a hit if I am going... I'm going to pray to Base God right now that it will take a plus four... Shadow Sneak or, or Sacred Sword. Okay, so we King Shield. That works out for me because I'm going to just Spore. That works. Okay, so he did get greedy because he's trying to keep going for, you know, King Shield Sword Dances. So now his guy's asleep. My Moongus got pretty back up there on health. I think the Regenerator helped out. So I'm going to bring back in Heatran. 
It's asleep. I di if it wakes up, this guy's just getting too lucky. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so outcome Heatran. Wait, did it? Can it? Okay, so oh, okay. I thought it woke up because it changed form, so it's actually trying to uh, attack me. I'm sure I'm faster than it, so I'm gonna heat wave. So it changes back into whatever it's gonna do, because he's probably gonna uh, king shield, but it's still asleep. So I got lucky on being asleep for two turns. So my whole, wow. Oh my god, no, that's, that's, no, it's, it, it avoided it, no. Okay, but I'm faster again, and I should be able to take it out. I have the choice specs. Okay, thank god, I'll, my whole plan worked out, even though, um, let me get back to Tony again, uh, my brother. It isn't big. Okay, back to the battle again. Okay, so he brings out Blissey. I am forced to keep using Heat Waves because this Heat Trans Choice Spec. I am happy that Choice Spec because it did take out that Aegis Slash pretty well. Uh, it's probably going to set up on me again. What do I have for that? I hope it. it well, it can like soft boil Toxic me. That's all it's really going to do. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm talking to uh, the opponent right now, Brennan, uh, as we speak on Skype. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Okay, so maybe I should Heat Wave again, just get a good damage check. I, I think, it, they're not really special, I think it, no, it's a special defense tank, what was I saying? That, but that's a two hit KO probably. And it doesn't affect me because I'm Steel, so that was a bad call on him. I'm really sorry to say, bro, that was... I'm not going to say you're bad. No, not at all. You're a great battler. But that was... Um, that was not a... That was a bad call. Now you're going to try to do something else. You can't uh, toxic stall me out. Um, I'm going to... The heat wave might be able to clean you out here. And yeah, it does. Critical hit. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, that was a great battle. If that Aegis Slash would have kept going, I probably would have lost because I had frail Pokemon. After that, and shadow, plus sticks, shadow sneaks, or anything you wanted to do would have been the end of me. But good thing I had Spore to keep that up. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching this video, guys. Going to get this out one of these days. I uh, want to uh, say thanks to Brendan for battling me. I would love to battle him in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, good luck in your next battles. I'll see you guys next time.